Hello everyone. We will continue the debugging challenges or exercises. And into this particular debugging challenge, I will cover one example which worked fine for me in development and quality system, but it failed in the production system. When I developed a particular requirement in the project, it was successfully done in the development, testing was done, then the code moved to the quality system, functional did the testing there, everything was successfully tested, but when the code moved to the production system, it did not work there. So we will go for the one example of the same. As so many people ask, have you faced anything which worked fine for you in development, but it failed in the quality when your code moved to the quality? Do you develop something which worked fine for you in development and quality, but it failed in the production at the initial level? So I will go for the one example of the same, which I faced during the project. Now, in the project, I developed one requirement. The purpose of that requirement is to handle the multiple files of AL11 directory. Recently, I covered a topic how to handle multiple files of AL11 directory and this topic is fully fully covered in file handling playlist. Yes, and that is a real project requirement itself. I just took the example of employee in the project. I have different set of requirement, but same to same kind of requirement I developed in the project. Now, into this particular debugging challenge, there's no need for you to develop any kind of code because this is totally, totally a analysis. What are the various things you need to take care? Now, I developed this particular program. Yes, it worked fine in the development testing done. Within the code, move to the quality done. When the code moved to the production system, it did not work there. Then what I asked, I asked the customer team, yes, please provide me that debugging rights or create one ID for me in the production system so that I can debug and check why, why it is not working in the production system. So they created one ID for me. They provided me the production right for that particular duration. They gave me only half an hour. Yes, you can check. Yes, what is the issue there? So when I started analyzing this particular program, into this particular program, I used this particular function module, SAP function module rzl underscore read underscore dir underscore local. What is the purpose of this particular function module? This function module is returning the files of a particular directory. You are passing the directory and it is returning the files of that particular directory. Whenever I started debugging this particular code and when I executed this code, I got the size sub RC3. Then I checked in development. When I checked in development, this function module is giving me size sub RC0. I am able to see the files. When I checked in quality, at that time I have to this quality rights also for this debugging. I checked in quality. In the quality also, I am getting size sub RC0. But in production, when this particular function module is executing, I am getting size sub RC3. If size sub RC is 3, nothing is coming into this internal table. If no files is returning, how system can read there that particular file? Then at the first time, I realized, yes, how important is to check the oath objects in the SAP function modules which you are using. Many times what we are doing, we are blindly using the SAP function modules and we are not even checking in those function modules as SAP is using any auth objects. 
Suppose if I will go for the example, SAP has clearly, clearly giving a exception, but we are never realizing. I simply uncommented the exception so that runtime error did not trigger, but clearly one exception is there. No admin authority is equal to three. Then I realized, yes, there is some authorization issue is there. So when I double clicked onto this particular function module, there is an exception. No admin authority, no admin authority. When I went to source code and when I checked the source code, the first statement is there itself. SAP is checking for this particular oath object. And if I do not have the authorization, SAP is simply raising the exception. Whenever exception will raise, this code will not execute. Whenever this code will not execute, nothing will return into this internal table. So when I called this function module in the development system, at that time itself, I should check. Whenever no admin authority exception is there, I should check at that point of time itself that I need to communicate this auth object to the functional as well as to the clienting. Yes, our task is to communicate to functional. Functional will mention in the, this particular documentation that this auth object is required. Ideally, what should be the practice? What, what, should, what is the mistake from my end? When I call this function module, I uncommented the exception, but I have not checked that SAP is raising the exception for a auth object also. When I checked this particular code and this auth object, if you do not have this authorization object, you cannot go for reading of the files. Then I simply communicate to functional person that whenever we want to read the files, this auth object is mandatory. That functional communicated this to the product, this uh, client team, and whoever the end user or client team is running this particular program, they assigned this auth object to that particular person, and after that, it worked fine. Yes, they gave the rights to me also at that point of time for this auth object. Then when they gave the rights to me for this auth object, yes, the I got the size of RC0 and the files are returning into this particular internal table. So it is very important to check whenever you are using SAP function module, just check. Is there any exception related to the oath object? Yes. If any exception is related to the oath object, yes. Just check what is the authorization object and communicate it to the functional person. See, in development, at that time, I have, I have SAP all authorization. So nothing. I always got the size of RC0. In quality also, yes. I got SAP all. So it worked fine for me there also. But in the production, yes, we have authorizations based upon the specific roles. Yes, so it will not work there. So main, main important point is whenever you are using standard things, standard function module, suppose I use this function module, my first responsibility is to check at that point of time if SAP is raising some exception for authorization, I need to check what is the authorization object for the same. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I covered one example or my experience, which I faced during the project because it was done in development. It was successful in quality, but it did not work in production. So when I debug, I realized that it's a mistake at my end that I have not checked that is there any exception for the oath object. But the best practice we ABAP consultants are following, we simply uncomment the exception. Okay, done. Because runtime error should not trigger. 
but the major focus we should always take also yes if some authorization or some exception sorry some exception is for auth object check that auth object communicate it to functional person mention in the document that this auth object is required because this function module requires that auth object to return the files now for this particular debugging challenge, there is no need for you to develop any kind of code. Yes, if still you want to develop this particular requirement, go for file handling playlist. We have the dedicated six to seven videos. You can develop that particular requirement. It's a real project requirement itself, how to handle multiple files of AL11 directory. Anyways, I will copy paste this code into debugging challenge folder, but nothing needs to be done from your end. Yes, because your task is just to analyze. Analyze. Suppose I will paste this code. Suppose I will paste this code into debugging challenges folder and I will mention each and everything. Which videos do you need to follow? Link. What is the problem? And yes, I will mention each and everything. So that's it in this debugging challenge. Thank you.